to see you. Um, thanks for pressing the like, guys. I know some of you have pressed it already. If you can, if you're just coming in, that'd be fantastic. So let's uh, just get started. Let's talk about gold. Okay, gold is interesting for many reasons. Um, I said many, many times, don't, and it's in the updates to my post, do not believe this is the be-all and end-all and that is the end of the rally because it wasn't shaping up like that at all. And believing that and putting everything down short is never a good idea. You had a very, very light fall here, didn't do much whatsoever. And it came about because you had very, very early key support, okay? When you've got very early key support and strong market sentiment, what happens is you tend to get lesser bounces to the downside and it's harder for it to break down more. I also spoke about this, um, actually, what day have we got? Monday the 27th. So this is today. Okay, that's what you've seen now. Before, we were looking at it, and I'll just put it on the daily for a second. We were looking at it on Friday and throughout the week. And I said, specifically, this candle was very full-bodied and it was shaping up very harshly. In other words, it was pushing straight back up. These candle wicks were the only thing standing in its way. And when you've got a really strong push, it's not a lot. It was a short, nonetheless lightly, but you would have only taken it very lightly because we were concerned that perhaps it would do exactly what it's doing now. So instead of going crazy and absolutely, you know, selling the farm, we're prepared for this. And you can see what's happened is you've had this big drop from uh, market open very early touch on um, reasonable early support, okay, on your hourly. And because you've got so much strong side uh, impetus, it has not fallen. Now what's happening is you're coming straight into this range of a candle wick. I wouldn't be shocked whatsoever, really, if you get above your high. I did mention that on Friday. I mentioned it throughout the week. I said, you should be planning for this. You should be planning to get up here at least, okay? If you're pretending that's just impossible, you are kidding yourself, you've seen it previously, okay? So I also said that because the candles which you can see are very strong bodied. There's clearly, clearly a lot of people buying it, okay? And you've seen that now. So let me just be careful. I'm going to get to um, the questions in a second. There's a lot of guys coming in. If you are coming in, like I said, please do press that boost button. I haven't refreshed it. That's why it stands at zero. Press it there. If you're someone who's watched me for ages and you've been here and you, you know, you're still not making any money or you're worried about your trading, I'm running a Cyber Monday deal there. You can get mentoring from me. You can learn how I trade specifically. I don't give it away on streams. Okay. Uh, I, I talk about what I can but I keep it fair to the people who have paid me and actually put the effort in. So just remember that. Hi, uh, Bobby Australian. I've seen you a few times. Um, maybe that's for you, like I said. Um, and another Academy member in there, Ocanaz. I will uh, go over the ends ultimately. Um, but just going back to what we were saying um, for a second, Gold is rallying into the highs. Like I said, don't be one of those people who believes that you cannot get up here and you say to yourself, I'm going to sell everything now. Everything I've got, I'm going to sell it. You're right in saying it's a high short. You're right in saying you've got fair market value to the short side, given you've rallied a very long way off your key 200 moving average. However, okay, however, the problem is that if you short everything you've got up here, and the market doesn't fall just as you like would like it, you're going to be in terrible drawdown. So you've got to space out your entries, especially on things like gold, oil, etc., because they can rally a very long way when market sentiment is forcing them and forcing them and forcing them forward. Okay, so just be very aware of that. So uh, yeah, so planning for shorts above this high, wouldn't be shocked if you get 20, 50, 20, 45, 20, 50 area. Wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. That is around here. 
And it comes in line, as I've said, for a very long time as well. Hi, Shane, I can see you as well in the chat box. You can see very much so, you've fallen from that area so many times. Okay, so it must be, it must be a place where people are saying, wow, price is too high for me, and I would rather be out than in to the long side. Okay, so just bear that in mind. You've managed to stretch that far three times before. Why pretend that you won't stretch that far again? Okay, you've got to be honest with yourself and you've got to understand that the market can go longer than you would like it to. All right, so anything higher, 2050 area, I would just take a light entry short, uh, in my opinion, at least. If you're looking to buy it, you really want to come back to this amalgamation of key moving averages. Quite a strong tech zone at this point. And you've had similar things occur in the past back here. Okay, somewhat on a micro level compared to what you saw when you came down there and returned over here. Okay, it's all price action. That is how markets operate. It's a remembrance of former areas to buy. Okay, and it's the same when you're looking short as I just described a minute ago. So you may find that once you get near these key MAs, and you pull back to where you've risen before, it may be more ideal for long entries. You definitely shouldn't be buying it now. I know I said it could get up here, but you have to remember that if you're getting long here, you're buying into resistance. You're buying where people are selling. Don't believe me they're selling? Well, have a look back. What have they done before? Okay, they've shorted at that area. So you're ultimately just running inherent risk. So it would really have to trickle back for me to like it long, at least probably until 1970 and further down here. Um, that would cause your stock oscillator to do something like this probably. And I, I would probably reasonably say over time, that's what will occur. I mean, you can see we always bottom down, but your stock oscillator is way, way up. Okay, look, look what happened last time when the stock oscillator is way, way up. What follows? A big fall. People always ask me, Will, why are you selling? The biggest thing that I ever get asked by people who have absolutely no idea what they're doing, and I had to tell someone this on the comments, is um, it's just horrendous advice to say something like, Will, the market is bullish. You should be buying. You know, and why are you selling? Why do you insist on selling in a bullish market? Well, I can tell you why. I'll tell you exactly why. It's because that is what makes money, funnily enough. I mean, look at this. What happens there? Will, why are you buying into a bullish market? Will, why are you buying into a bullish market? Will, why are you buying? Why are you, you know, why, sorry, why aren't you buying? Gosh, you don't want to get mixed up with that. Uh, can hurt a lot. But why the question they would ask me, are they asking me now is the same thing. Why aren't you buying into where people are selling? That's basically what they're saying. You saw it once here, there and there. So, so the question of buying into a bullish market is exactly how you will lose money. That's how it happens. You will lose money doing that. That is just not negotiable. All right. Why aren't you buying here? Why aren't you buying there? They ask you the same question. Even though they've looked back and seen it fall from highs many times, they will still ask me the same question. Exactly. Why don't I have a Lambo? They buy up here expecting a Lamborghini and they end up with a Ford Fiesta. I'm afraid a banged up old 2003 that conks out on the side of the road. You should not buy highs. And if you're someone who's saying, you know, why don't you buy into the strength of the market? You are, you are kidding yourself. And people can't, well, I think they're robot comments anyway. I think they're just random people who've got no idea and probably nothing else to do in their day. But they'll say something like, this is ridiculous. How can you be short when the market's coming up? How can you be selling high prices, Will? And then they'll go off. They'll go off and then they'll, uh, they'll negotiate the highest price on their car they're selling. Or they'll negotiate the highest price on their house when they want to sell it. And suddenly, outside of the market, they're selling everything 
at the highest price they can get. But then when they open up their gold charts and the price of gold is high, they want to buy it. I just, you know, I mean, if someone can explain that to me, it would be great. But it's ridiculous. And people don't get that constantly. They just don't get that. Okay. And they buy those highs and buy those highs and buy those highs. So that's a really good lesson on not doing the wrong thing. And that is gold. Don't forget underneath, I'm going to list my training. So I'm going to print that back to YouTube. If you are coming in, press the like button. The boost is there. And also if you're serious, and I mean serious about getting things right, the only way to do it is via that link.